This is Seven National News and in our top story. Human development is improving in Arab states, with the UAE showing very high development in the 2014 Human Development Report, which was released by the United Nations Development Programme in Tokyo today. The UAE's Human Development Index value has improved to 0.827 compared to last year's 0.825, placing the country at 40th among 187 countries, and progress has been made on all three components of the HDI, including human health, education and gross national income. Life expectancy in the UAE has increased from 76.7 to 76.8 years compared to last year's report. And the expected years of schooling for a UA citizen is now 13.3 years compared to 12 years last year. Syed Akka, the United Nations resident coordinator and UNDP resident representative in the UAE, stated that key areas such as women's empowerment, youth engagement, employment, human capital development and resilience to climate-related and human disasters are among the top priorities for policymakers according to the 2014 Human Development Findings, adding that the UNDP is ready to partner with international institutions in the UAE to realise the objectives of UAE Vision 2021 for sustainable human development. Dubai Municipality has completed all of its preparations to welcome in Eid al Fitr as the different departments of the civic body have drawn up detailed plans to provide the best services to the public during the holidays. According to a statement, all public areas have been cleaned up and many entertainment activities have been lined up in public parks. Stringent food control measures are also in place to ensure food safety where a number of inspectors will be patrolling areas with increased activities, as well as efforts to monitor the sale of hazardous firecrackers in the Emirates. The Public Parks and Horticulture Department has prepared a lineup of entertainment programmes to attract visitors to public parks during the Eid holidays. The General Maintenance Department has also renovated and developed a number of swimming pools in different parks, as a large number of visitors are expected to gather for the holidays. A number of technical employees have also been put on emergency duty in order to take care of any unexpected events. The Roads and Transport Authority has drawn up a plan for traffic movement and public transport services as a part of preparations for the Eid al-Fitr holidays. According to a statement, engineer Hussein al-Banna the director of traffic at the Traffic and Roads Agency, was quoted as saying that the plan covers the Burj Khalifa area, where more than 20 signs will be installed to direct traffic to the internal roads network of the Business Bay District and provide access to the Sheikh Zayed Road and Al Kale Road, which will accordingly ease the pressure on the Financial Centre Road. Temporary signs will also be installed to direct roads, road users to Zabil Bridges to access the Burj Khalifa area from the Sheikh Rashid Road. To ensure a smooth traffic flow during various peak hours, light signals on the Financial Centre Road will also be monitored and controlled. Adel Mohamed Shakri, the Director of Transportation Systems at the RTA, added that 10 public buses will provide free rides between Dubai Mall and the World Trade Center in order to compensate any taxi shortages in vital parts of the Emirate, starting from 1 p.m. right through to the end of the events. Dubai traffic police have revealed that 30 serious accidents took place on Dubai's roads in the first two weeks of Ramadan. According to the figures quoted in a local daily, Four people lost their lives, while 20 were injured, and 7,728 minor incidents were reported over the period. Over in Sharjah, police revealed that they had, there have been 22 serious road accidents since the start of the holy month, where five people have died. Colonel Shwaf Abdel Rahman, the director of the Traffic and Anjad Patrolling of Sharjah Police, revealed that this year, five were also critically injured, 11 sustained medium injuries and 12 minor. 
He added that the number is less than last year during Ramadan, where there were 26 serious accidents that led to the death of three, five seriously injured, 19 medium injuries and 14 minor. Longer hoses have been installed in 16 Enoch petrol stations so that motorists can refuel their cars with special petrol from either side of the petrol pump. The stations include Enoch's busiest and 16 more will see long hoses in September before they are then added to the entire network. Burhan Al Hashemi, the managing director of Enoch Retail, was quoted in a local daily as saying that the new hoses will speed up services for motorists as drivers won't have to wait for a specific pump based on the position of their vehicle's fuel tank. He added that the long hoses are being provided for special petrol as it has the highest demand from customers. And in other news, the public will soon get a unique chance to experience real traditional Emirati cuisine as the second round of the Dubai World Hospitality Championship is being held at the World Trade Center from October the 30th until November the 3rd this year. Zabel Palace Hospitality is organizing the event, which will include programs, activities and competitions highlighting authentic cooking that represents Emirati culture. The event is designed to introduce the culinary traditions of the UAE to teach younger generations about hospitality. The event will also include cooking workshops, focusing on the rich traditions and the unique life of the area. According to organizers, there are many activities this year where 12 Arab countries will compete in the international competition. And in the hospitality sector, there will be a thousand chefs in 21 categories, up from 14 last year. A new uh, competition was, which is going to be on the Gulf uh, and uh, Gulf countries. And this will be, of course, uh, uh, bringing in 10 participants from each Gulf country. This is going to be uh, uh, related to all the items and uh, hospitality products that are uh, uh, marketed through the social media. So we're trying to encourage the, this market because it doesn't have you know, the, the proper pr platform and the championship wants to be the, the right platform for, for it. Uh, of course, we have some other activities such as the Heritage Village. Uh, it has been increased uh, three times. And finally, the UAE is all set to host yet another mixed martial arts spectacle, this time with the One Fighting Championship making its Middle Eastern debut in Dubai this August. With a total of 10 fights lined up to entertain the crowd, the event will feature around 20 of the best fighters taking the octagon at the World Trade Center on August the 29th and compete in what aims to be the largest event in the history of mixed martial arts. A total of four One FC World Championship titles will be on the line, including the One FC Lightweight World Champion Shinya Aoki, making his first title defense against Kamal Shalouris from Iran. The headline fight between the current 1FC welterweight world champion Nobutatsu Suzuki against the Olympian Ben Askren for the title is regarded as the most anticipated fight in the history of the welterweight division. Just weeks before the debut in Dubai, organizers say they have big plans to establish the Singapore-based MMA in the Emirate and promise world-class adrenaline-pumping action for the fans. We've been operating for the past four years, selling out arenas, you know, all over Asia. Um, August 29th in Dubai is going to be our first time uh, overseas, but the demand has been tremendous. You know, we there's, you know, we've been, we have a lot of Emiratis coming to our fights in Asia, you know, begging us to bring a fight here. And we know in Dubai, it's everything is big, it's bold, it's huge. So we decided to come August 29th with the greatest fight card ever put together in mixed martial arts. There are four title fights, some of the greatest fighters on the planet that are going to be competing right here in Dubai. Um, it's going to be a night of adrenaline pumping action. The event in August will be an ideal platform for Dubai-based aspiring MMA fighters to make their mark on the global stage. 
Specialist in the Filipino kickboxing art, Yoyan, Vaughn Doyanye is one of the top lightweight mixed martial artists training in Dubai. After winning seven of his previous eight bouts, Vaughn promises to display the best of his abilities on fight night. I waited for this two years. And now it's here, it's the biggest in Asia. I'm Asian, I represent the Philippines. It's happening here in Dubai. Um, the opportunity just knocked on my door and I'm very excited. This is a dream come true. My style of fighting, I'm, I'm in your face. You know, I'm a dog fighter. So win, lose or draw, I'm gonna make a fight out of it. You know, he's gonna come out that cage knowing that mother, I, I, I was in a, in a fight. So it's, it's, it's gonna be all out. I'm gonna put everything in there.